What's up everyone? It's Indigenous Realist, the realest man. I know y'all seen my comment where I said that they censoring me and they won't let me comment to my fans. I included screenshots in this clip. I just came across a news clip about sonic weapons being used. I am a victim of this by a lot, by everything I stand for as an indigenous warrior and a man. I made a post on Facebook about it back in May or June. Afterwards, I was pulled over twice back to back within one mile from where I made the post. Helicopters were then recorded over my house every night for a month. I left and started sleeping in my car. They wanted to stop this info. Now they see I have a growing platform and they want they want to release the info publicly. But the timestamps won't lie on my post on Facebook. In fact, I uploaded one of my videos about gang stalkers and personated nation of police officers and nobody watched it but it is from this day anyway check out these posts i made after my encounter with these people and know that i was and still am in constant fear for my life i even tried trading my car and all i even tried to give it away actually no further ado watch this clip and tell me what you think man this indigenous real is the realest a brand new re medical report shedding some light on the bizarre brain injury suffered by dozens of American diplomats in Cuba. Dr. Mark Siegel is with us, professor of medicine at NYU Lango Medical Center and a Fox News contributor. What are we learning from this? This is a big deal. Dr. Michael Hoffer and his group of Miami are the only people that examined the diplomats, 25 of them, right after the event. It's retrospective, but Sandra, it's not polluted by what the media said, by a hope for workmen's compensation claim, by time passing or by treatments they got. This is what they looked like. And what they found is very striking. Problems with dizziness, problems with balance, the gravity center of the inner ear, problems with the brain secondarily, with thinking, all of which point to a weapon, all of which point probably to a sonic weapon, a low frequency weapon that impacted the inner ear and then led to problems in thinking. This is huge because Cuba's been saying this is psychogenic hysteria. This pretty much rules it out. These are physicians, an entire group of physicians that examined these patients and said this is not hysteria. This was something targeting them. A lot of, a lot of thinking about maybe microwaves. From what I'm hearing this morning, and I just listened to the news conference, I don't think so. I think it's something... What did you hear during the news conference? They didn't point to the weapon yet, but it sounds like a, like a handheld sonic device. This is what I heard through the grapevine they think it is. Again, this is Sherlock Holmes. This is looking back over the breadcrumbs. This is trying to piece it together, Bill. But what this is groundbreaking on is it, this dispels the whole idea that this is hysteria. You know, everyone said, well, everyone was affected differently. Well, guess what? You're going to be affected differently by how distant you are from the weapon, so how you, it's used. You could take a handheld device, walk past the embassy turn it on and affect someone's inner ear that way. Absolutely. If it's directed, it may not have been someone walking past. It may have been somebody in the room. It may have been something in a truck. I don't know exactly what device this was, but this is verifiable medical science now. Because Amazing it, this happened in 2017. These are the first we're seeing these findings. Finally. Well, because they've been holding them back and monitoring these people and watching them over time. It's not the first time a study's come out, yeah. but it's the first time it's been a study where it wasn't polluted by time and agendas. Very in closing, I want to say everyone start questioning these people who want to teach you. If they aren't being stalked or harassed, then the message is weak or plagiarized. I exit with the same vow that I'm a student of none of these dudes and none of my content can be found in other videos but others will take my info and make it their own and I'm fine with that I just want love, truth, peace, freedom and justice these other guys can have the fame I'm indigenous realist and I'm the realist and I'm gone